so yeah, you guys know that there's the forty, the, the forty entrances to the tough enough, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys don't like it, right? Not really. Nope. nope. Is that your question? Right. That was not the big question. The big question I want to ask you guys is, what are your attributes for tough enough? Like, what would your what would your guidelines be if you were a judge for tough enough? If, if make it a better, make it worse, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, like, for instance. I know for a fact that they, they they look more towards the bodybuilding aspect of the the physique of uh, professional wrestling, mm-hmm. you know the the bodybuilder the Vince McMahon type style. Uh, but as we pointed out before, I think that was another big question about having like indie guys and all that stuff in the tough enough. Uh, but having athletic skills to be in tough enough and not look like a freak uh would be kind of a thing to have especially now since you know they're trying to be healthier or they're they're portraying themselves as not genetically and superior towards everybody else uh but have more athletic ability less on the physique on the physical attributes of you know the the six-pack abs and all that shit um but Having wrestling knowledge would be a good thing to have, mm-hmm. uh, so they don't kill anybody. Uh, I, and I, I just want to get your guys' opinion on what you think a, a good, tough enough competitor would have. Um, I think generally you're looking at you know respect for the business first of all, mm-hmm. and kind of a. I mean, it is tough enough. It is can they withstand it, right? Um, mm-hmm. And not a dick. I think when you're like, why didn't that guy get there? It's like, well, they're just not compatible with the the WWE system, basically. I I think there's perfectly talented people that just don't fit the mold or can't adapt to the Mm -hmm. way, whatever you call it, politics, whatever you call it, the WWE style on TV and and just working with that. Kevin Owens, of all people, looks like he can adapt. (laughs) And somebody is behind him, and he says, yes, I'll do whatever you need. Seth Rollins was somebody that they had to say, you need to change your attitude, or this isn't going to work. And now look at him. Now look at him. Who did it? Joey Mercury. Joey Mercury, for instance. He credits Joey Mercury for saving his career in NXT. And that's why Joey Mercury pinned him on Monday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Return to fate. It all makes sense now. It it does. It really does. It all comes around. So, Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Who's got the next one? Um... I, I have two qualifications. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, one, you cannot already have been in a Zack Ryder video on WWE on YouTube. <laughs> Take that, Big O. And two, uh, you do not have more than three visible veins. Oh, God. <laughs> because some of those people last night were, like some were of them frightening look unhealthy. Looking. Frightening looking. And not in the good way where Brock Lesnar is frightening. No, they look unhealthy. To be mm-hmm. fair, that one guy had spider man and it's like... That's not that good. Doesn't that doesn't help. <laughs> and, and I also want to... this I, is me. This it's is, a condition. Yeah. I, and I also want to point out, just because they didn't get on Tough Enough on this list, doesn't mean WWE isn't looking at them. Because um, I think some of these guys... I know some of these guys, and I've talked to a, a couple of them, and, and you know, seeing stuff online and everything... Uh, you know, there's still some of them are having conversations and further conversations with WWE. Maybe you'll see them in tryout matches in the in the near future. Maybe you'll be like, maybe you'll see a couple people pop up in NXT that you may have heard of on the indies. You know, I mean, that, that 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 some of those people in those videos look for any of those people in those videos to be in NXT signed, not on TV, jobbing, whatever the case may be. Uh, in in the next six months to a year, it's a slow process. You I mean, know. Darren's already going to England. But he's not going for WWE. Darren. No, he's not. But he's getting looked at in other promotions. Right, right. Which it, then would get you know some mm-hmm. people looking. Yeah, this, and, is, this is a nice Rolodex for indie guys out there, uh, indie promoters out there looking for new talent. That's for sure. So I think any indie promoter should be looking at that, looking at towns within whatever radius they're willing to pay trans for, and, uh, and, 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 and saying, hey, can I see your wrestling tape and not the BS one you gave WWE? 
it also seems like they're kind of building tough enough more towards a ground up thing like the first right. season was as opposed to a finishing school right like like the le- like the latter seasons were that might be a reason why a lot of the indie guys that we know that were featured heavily like on the app and everything were not chosen right cuz because I mean, cuz those guys are already like they have the skills and that's probably why someone like um Matt Cross mm-hmm. wasn't what they wanted for last season of tough enough like because he already had the skills. Like they, he didn't make for good TV because he wasn't going to be messing up. Right, yeah. uh, Bobby. Mm-hmm. Do you um, have a qualification? I would say they have to be charismatic. I think personality plays a lot into what they're looking for. Uh, just that's the reason why Matt Cross didn't make it because he didn't have personality when he re- was wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, he does now. Uh, but or at and, least someone that looks a lot like him called Sonny yeah Adam. yeah yeah and uh, I mean that's that's one of the bigger factors but uh, I don't think they need to have a physique you can definitely tell Vince picked most of that's probably but we'll see how it, how it ends up I mean I just kind of bummed it's okay mm-hmm. 